Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Amazon and more specifically, I'm going to show you how to permanently close your Amazon account. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, Amazon's not going to make it an easy process to close your account. So just be aware of that. If you're going to be doing this, it's going to probably take about five to 10 minutes because you have to go through customer service if you're going to be using the app like I do. However, you can send an email through the desktop version of Amazon, but you cannot do that through the Amazon app. But I found a workaround, so I'm going to show you step by step how to get in touch with Amazon to close your account. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Amazon app. It's this white app with a blue shopping cart. If you don't have this app already, check my video description. I'll try to leave a quick link there, but I'm going to go ahead and open the app now. All right, guys, I went ahead and opened up my Amazon app, and this is the home screen. And if you're anything like me, you kind of search and search looking for an option to go ahead and permanently close your Amazon account down through the app. However, there is no easy button or no quick link in order order to permanently close your account through Amazon. This is something that must be handled through customer service only. So I'm going to show you how to do that. What you want to do go ahead, first is go ahead and click on these three lines here on the top left. I'm going to click there now. All right, so I went ahead and click there and then this drop down menu happens. Before we go any further, I want to let you know that if you have any orders that are pending with Amazon, you do need to clear those out first. So either you need to cancel the order or wait for the order to be completed. Once that happens and you have zero orders that are pending in Amazon, then you will be able to proceed to permanently closing your account through the app. So once you're here on this drop down menu, what you want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom until you get to this line called customer service. I'm going to click there now. Okay, so I went ahead and clicked there and then you get this next drop down menu with a lot of different FAQs or quick links to things that you might want to do on your Amazon account. But if you look through, there is actually no place to easy click and close your account. I've already confirmed this with customer service, at least at the time of the recording of this video, there is no option for you to do that. So what you'll need to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom until you get to this button called contact us to the very bottom. Once again, it's not easy to get in touch with. So go ahead and click on it. It has a little arrow next to it. I'm going to click there now. All right. So I went ahead and clicked there and then this drop down menu happens and it looks like there's about three different options. But what you want to do is go ahead and click on this top line chat with us. All right. So I went ahead and clicked there and then this is the Amazon chat feature where you're going to chat with the computer at first until they designate what type of issue you have going on. Once you get past the automated system, then it's going to direct you into another customer service person to chat with. So the first First thing it's asking is what can you help you with and what I did last time is I just put cancel account so I'm gonna click on this line right here All right I went ahead and click there and then I'm gonna go ahead and can't click on cancel account okay so I went ahead and entered in cancel account I'm gonna click send now all right next this pops up and again you're just chatting with the computer right now so next you want to go ahead and click on something else this orange button I'm gonna click there now all right next it is asking me to type a little bit more about what I need so I'm gonna go ahead and just type in cancel Amazon account so Amazon account okay so I typed that in let me go ahead and send that now. Okay, so again, it gets a little complicated because it's asking me the same exact thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type in cancel account permanent after clicking something else. Okay, so I went ahead and can't type that in, cancel permanent Amazon account. I'm gonna click send. Okay, so it's just going around and around in circles. So let me reword it to cal cancel Amazon account. Okay, so as you can see, it just kind of keeps going around and around. It's not accepting the prompts that I'm giving it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little button right here. It looks like a little person. That way you can direct it into getting me in line with an associate. I'm going to click now. All right, this pops up. Do you want to discuss with an associate? Yes, because the computer obviously doesn't understand what I want. So I'm going to click yes. So now it's asking me for more information. So I'm going to do the same thing. Close the Amazon account. Okay, so now we're getting a little bit further. It's saying they can't connect me into a phone associate because of the coronavirus issue that's going on at the time of this recording. But you still can choose to talk to somebody over chat. So click this orange button right here. Get help over chat. I'm going to click there now. Okay, it looks like someone has joined the chat and that actually took about three or four minutes for that person to acknowledge the chat. So let me see what they have to say. All right, they're typing. All right, so they're asking the same thing. So I'm going to just type in what I want, have them send me a link to close the account. Okay, so I just let them know I need a link to close the Amazon account. Okay, they wrote back and it looks like they're trained to say that they're sorry to hear they're losing as a customer. They didn't say that last time and they do ask for a reason why you're closing. Okay, she just wrote and said that they sent me an email confirming to close the account. Let me go ahead and click on over to that email now. Okay, I went ahead and clicked over to the email. So this was a little different than the last time. The last person just sent me the link inside of the Amazon chat. However, the customer service rep that I'm chatting with right now decided to send this email. And all that it says is you're going to lose access to a lot of different Amazon companies and features that you might use. So just be sure to look through that. There's things like partner program, Amazon Flex, Kindle, web services, just a lot, a lot of different things like music, movies, Audible, all 
these things will you will lose access if you decide to permanently close your Amazon account. If so, then here's the link right here in order to close the account. So this is nothing immediate again, as you can see, but let me click on the link and show you what it does because it even that doesn't permanently close the account down yet. I'm going to click there now. Okay, so I went ahead and clicked on the link and then it opens it up in this browser. And then basically what it is, it's a contact form that you're going to need to fill out. So once again, Amazon doesn't make it easy or quick to close to your account down permanently. So what you're going to do is this form is not available on the mobile website and it's not available on the app. You need to contact customers for service like what I did in order to get this link. Once you get this link, it's going to pre-populate with your name and your email right here on the subject line. It's already pre-populated auto account close confirmation request. Next to the comments, it's already pre-populated saying I confirm that I want to close my account. I'm going to scroll down a little bit further. All right, next it gives you a warning saying that you have read the consequences of closing your account. So do not click this orange button unless you really want to close your Amazon account because once that happens, customer service would start working on closing that account. I'm not going to do it because I still use my Amazon account, but I just want to walk you through that process on how to permanently close your Amazon account. So hopefully you found that video useful. If you take a look here at the timestamp, it says 2139. So actually real time, this process took about 18 minutes. If you know an easier way to permanently close your Amazon account, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. And hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.